Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna do packets and frames. We're still in the pre-security learning path. The last video we did the OSI model. So, I just reset packets and frames. Let's get right into it. Sorry guys, got sick over the weekend, so my voice is kind of raspy. Uh, this should be fairly simple. Uh, try hack me it does have a YouTube clip I'm just gonna show you guys how to complete these tasks as always I always uh, recommend reading through all these tasks so you can understand the fundamentals for this case is uh, networking so let's get right into it packets and frames understand how data is divided into small pieces and transmitted across a network into another device so task one what are packets and frames? As you read through this task, answer the questions below. What is the name for a piece of data when it does have IP addressing information? Hint, it's either packet or frame. So when it does have IP information, as you read through it, frame does not have information as IP addresses, so this would be packet and the last question was the name for a piece of data when it does not have IP addressing information frame there you go all right task two TCP IP the three-way handshake so this task it talks about basically two computers or two IP addresses communicate with each other it talks about the TCP and UDP connection. So, again, yeah, strongly recommend reading through it. Answer the questions below. What is the header in a TCP packet that ensures the integrity of the data? I should read through. For example, this ta table you read is checksum TCP integrity. Let's try it. Check some. Next question provide the order of a normal three way handshake with each step separated by a comma. Hint, for example, step one, step two, step three. So, as you read through, there's this picture the normal three way handshake. Sin, sin, act, act. Let's try it. Sin, sin. Ek. Ek. There you go. Let's go task three, practical handshake. Let's click, what is the value of the flag giving at the end of conversation? All right, let's try this. Let's go, sin, can you hear me, Bob? Then he answers, sin, acknowledge. Yes, I can hear you. Then acknowledge again. Okay, great. Let's see. I'm gonna send data. Cheesecakes on sale. Acknowledge. I hear you. Then acknowledge. Okay. Oh, got that wrong. So I'm all done. And Finn, yeah, me too. Acknowledge. Okay. Oh, goodbye. Look at that. Copy and paste. All right, let me close this. As you can see, guys, so sin, acknowledge, or oh, sin, sin, acknowledge, acknowledge. So, task four UDP IP, user datagram protocol. Question is what does the term UDP stand for? As you read through it, as the first line is user datagram protocol. What type of connection is UDP? As you read through it, it's highlight stateless. Actually, I'll just type in what protocol we you use to transfer a file. As you read the previous test is actually TCP because 
this is how my thought process is. T uh, TCP is secure and UDP is not. So, in what protocol we use a video call and I believe it's UDP, but I'm trying to find it. But I did remember it's UDP, so let's try again. Task 5, Ports 101 Practical. I believe this task is very important as in the future you try to remember all the port numbers like FTP21, SSH22, at HTPV80. As you get better at it, you recognize the port numbers and protocol automatically. So let's split this view site. Practical challenge. Open the site attached to this task and connect the IP address 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 on port 1234 and you receive flag. So all you do is have to type it in. Tap 1234 and connect. Connection receive and copy and paste. There we go. Unsplit this. Task six continue your learning, extending your network. No answer needed. Terminate the site. Join extending your network room. All right, guys, that was Packets and Frames. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn as I share my LinkedIn. And uh, if you find this video helpful, guys, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment below how to improve these videos. I uh, just want to tell you guys I don't have any IT experience. I'm doing this out of my own pocket, and I actually like learning the uh, IT stuff. But I am transitioning to another career field, as right now I do have my certifications. Um, I am studying networking, so this is a good refresher to me. But right now I have IFT+, plus, A+, plus, CYSA+, plus, Pentest+, plus, and Security+. Plus. And um, maybe in a future video I'll show you guys how I study and pass these exams while any uh, prior work experience. Anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching.